Did you ever want to try macOS but you can't afford a MacBook? Well, you can actually try it within Windows if you follow the steps all the way through in this video. So let's get started right away without wasting any time. First of all, this one is running in a virtual machine before I can use it. My macOS tutorials and I think I forgot the password. Let me try it. Did I really forget it? Hold on. Imagine making a video and you forgot the password. <laughs> Doesn't matter. At the end of the video, you will see that, that this macOS actually works. So let's get started right away. The first thing you need to do is to get VMware Workstation Pro and it's completely free. Just go to the link in the description and download this. It should already be downloading. Otherwise, click on here. When it's finished, just click on open file. You will get the installation process just like this. So let's click on next and then continue the installation with installing everything. I of course already have it. If you can't figure it out, you can always comment down below and we'll directly help you. And once you're down there, make sure you subscribe so you can see more useful tech tips like this. The second step is actually getting macOS so you can run it in your virtual machine. After installing VM Workstation, by the way, make sure you open the Pro Edition and not Player. You will be sent to this website. Right here, we first need to unlock macOS so we can actually add it in the OSs. So if you want to install virtual machines, you cannot select macOS, not yet. So let's first unlock it. Very easy, go to this GitHub page. You will see the latest version. Make sure you get this release python embedded.zip. After you get that, just extract it just like this. Let's go to the folder. And right here we have win install. Let's right click on it. Then run as administrator. After doing this, it's going to give you the permission in VMware to add macOS. There you go, should already be done. Maybe you have to restart VMware Pro or restart your computer to make it work. You can now select the option in your VMware. So the next step is actually getting macOS itself so you can get it on this virtual machine. The only problem is these guys, they do recommend getting this one, which I haven't included in the description by the way, but they want you to pay monthly. Let's not do that. Go to the other link in the description so you can install the VMDK image, which is an image so you can run the virtual machine as macOS without having to really install it. Just have to install macOS with just a clean image. Image is a copy of a full system to keep it simple. So right here, it's a second option, but you can also find in the description, third option, creating the image ourselves. So right here, just go to this GitHub page again. Right here, you have to click on code. And after doing this, download the zip file. It's going to my downloads folder. I'm just gonna remove the previous steps. So right here, click on it and then extract again. Let's do that. Right here, we have the master. We have to find gib macOS.bat. You can also type gib macOS right here if you can't find it right above, just like this and find the .bat file. Right click on it and then run as administrator. There's a chance you will get a pop-up like this. Let's click on more info. After doing that, you have to kiss your cat. Mm -hmm and then make sure you click on run anyway so right now it, it allows you to select which macOS you actually want so let's do full screen and actually zoom in scroll down right here you have to select an option and there are many so right here you can see the latest versions of everything so it depends on which macOS you actually want on a tutorial website the select number 12 which is, I think, Catalina. Yes, Catalina is the option he selected, but I'm pretty sure every single version here works. I've also picked Catalina, but let's try something else. So what's the latest version? Sequoia, Sequoia? I, I can't even pronounce that. Sequoia, ah, I see the option. Wait, yes, this one. So number three, it's 15 gigabytes. You can see it on the right. So number three, and then let's click enter i think it's gonna download the package yeah so it's gonna download this package and then it will be right back so after it's completed uh it says that the file is saved right here and we need to follow this folder path so right here in downloads i have this then macOS download so let's go there it was public release then we have this version and this is the folder itself so let's click on enter to return so when you're in the folder you should be able to see base system.dmg but if you don't see this you can't get the base system itself the apple os so if this might happen to you you have to reinstall it so let's just go for ventura the first one so let's click on m to change the macOS version currently set to 15 okay so let's just go for 12 
that means we have to find Monterey, which is probably the only one we can select right now. So Monterey is right over here, number 13. Let's do that. Because here on the page, it says that you first have to change your version before you can select one of the versions you see. So if this must happen to you, you know why. I'm of course always trying to do my best, also being honest about everything I see. And make sure you check out our merch at slash shop and subscribe to us so you can really help us out. Okay, so I'm being completely honest. Uh, they said this as note, there's S of Big Sur, which is macOS 11. App has changed the way to distribute your macOS and internet recovery USB cannot be created with Windows. macOS through Catalina will still work though. But I have something here, another note. If you guys can figure it out, please let me know down in the comments. I will make a new version of this where you can install the latest versions. But I'm not really sure what they mean here. You can easily go to the GitHub. This is it right here. But I'm going to show you it with Catalina. So right here, number 15 is Catalina. And that one also, that one worked for me. So let's try that one. So I get a DMG file. Like I said, I'm being completely honest. I'm not really sure what they mean and I'm reading here the readme and I don't really understand what they mean here what kind of command I need to run but I do know how to get macOS so don't worry but it's gonna be Catalina so let's remove Monterey so your macOS version is going to be 10.13 Catalina what we can do while waiting for this we can easily scroll down this page and that and then get the Kimu and with Kimu we can actually Convert the DMG to a VMDK file so we can run it in VMware itself without any problems. So right here we have the Kimu installer. It's down below. Let's click here. So I've put it in the description. And right here they tell us exactly what we need to install. So that's tools and DLL library. Let's go to the downloads folder and make sure we double click on Kimu to install it. Let's click on OK. Next. Agree. And then right here, we only need tools and DLL library. After doing this, click on next. Now let's click on install. We can easily remove this afterwards. Doesn't really matter. You don't need this afterwards. So it's already completed the macOS. So let's quit it. Let's have a look in the folder. There you go. And yes, we have the base system DMG file, which is exactly what we need. And if anyone understands what this means, please let me know down in the comments. I'm not really that much of an expert with this. I don't really understand Python too much. Okay, so let's click on finish with Kimu. So what we need to do right here is this command in the description. The first thing we need to do is right click right here, then open for more. And then you need to open a PowerShell window here. So right here, just copy this command. I mean in command prompt, so open command prompt first. Let's do that in administrator. And then the CD command. Yes. And then we need to convert this file. But first we need to copy the DMG file to this location. Very easy, get the DMG file, then copy right here. Click on this PC, then go to the C drive. After doing this, go to program files and then press Q right here and they will find Kimu. Right here, you have to put the B DMG file right here. Just paste it right here and it will copy. It should be above right here. Doesn't really matter. We can continue to the next step in the command prompt. So right here, just copy the command in the description. Let's do that. I'm pretty sure that's correct because it will create a Mac OS recovery. So let's click on X right here. Mac OS recovery, just click on M. Let's copy this one to our desktop, just like this. And this is the VMDK file. The exact file we need to actually run Mac OS in VMware. Very easy, right? A little bit complicated, but with my steps, you can follow it. I hope so and otherwise let me know down in the comments if everything is complicated. Just like this, you can use the VMDK file in your VMware workstation. So what we need to do right now is create a virtual machine. Open VMware Workstation Pro and not Player. After doing this, right click right here, then create a new machine, new virtual machine. Let's click on typical, then we will install the operation later. Let's click on next. Let's select macOS itself. So let's select the version right here. You can see the version in the macOS downloads folder, public release. And then you can see right here, it's a 10.15. So let's do that. 10.15, that's correct. So let's click on next. Right here, this is the location, that's fine. And this is the tutorial version. So let's click here on next. So let's click it. Let's store it as a single file. 
let's do 100 gigabytes then let's click on next we have to click on finish so right here just right click on it or click here on edit virtual machine settings after doing this make sure the memory is actually 8 gigabytes so 8000 you can just lift this one up until you see something like this let's go to processor and do 2 and 2 so both of them 2 let's go to CD DVD and SATA let's turn off connect on power on so let's click here on add so we can actually add the VMDK file let's do that let's click on hard disk then SATA use an existing virtual disk which is what we want let's click on next let's actually browse go to our desktop and select this macOS recovery file let's click on open just like that and click on finish let's click on keep existing format and after this very simply just click on ok and then we can actually already start up this macOS so let's do that sadly I can't get my error pop up again but if you get a pop up where it says that the file can't be found or there are not enough permissions just go to the files location and yes I made a mess of it because of the figure it out right click on it then open properties go to security tab click on edit after doing this make sure they just select all of these they actually get all give them permissions and after doing that somehow it works again so click on here full control for all of these and there's also another option but I can't see it right now if you give all of them permissions it should be working now so now you can click on power on very easily and now you can start the macOS installation itself pretty cool the next steps are going to be formatting your hard drive so we can actually use this macOS very easily in the first machine. By the way, you can always just press Ctrl and Alt. They can actually exit. I'm just going to open this window. You can always go here and then go to the settings itself. Of course, when it's off. But right here, you can click processor and add some more cores. If you have more of them, make sure you use them so the macOS has better performance. But of course, I'm recording and my laptop is not all too great. So for me, it's half of my 16 gigabyte memory and then processors you should probably do four to eight depending on how good your system is it will run a lot better so let's finish up these last steps make sure you subscribe so you can actually help us reach a lot of subscribers and help a lot more people which is wonderful we're trying to reach at least 5,000 subscribers at the end of this year so 2026 is a whole new cool year upcoming and I spent 45 minutes on this all, but I'm proud I'm helping you guys. Very cool animations and all. Very simple. Just choose your language. Of course, I'm going to stick it with English. So let's select this one. After doing this, let's go to disk utility so we can actually format this hard disk. Which is the first step we need to take, otherwise it's not supported. So right here we have the other disk. Let's click on it. Then let's click here on erase. After doing that, we can just call it hard drive. It doesn't really matter. So right here, let's do that. And then click on erase. Very simply, we have just formatted this drive. So let's click on done. And then let's click on this X icon. And then let's reinstall or uh, install macOS. Just like this. Very easily, just follow the steps. Continue. Most important, remember your password. Otherwise, you can't get in macOS is very secure right here agree to the terms very easily let's do that just like this then we select the hard drive itself and we install it right here so it's gonna take a minute and I will be right back after this you just have to enter some user details and everything like that it's pretty simple you can even log in with your uh, your Apple ID or how did they call it Apple accounts I don't remember it's called Apple ID it's not gonna change and you can choose to do that if you don't want to do that just make sure that the system doesn't have any internet when you're restarting it so you can actually log in so very simply to do that let's uh, open this menu right here let's right click on the system then settings again and at this, at this settings you can go to network adapter and you can turn off connected and connected power on so if you restart the system it won't ask you for to log in with your iCloud or something or your Apple account. It's way simpler, I guess. You don't have to use an online account. You can use a local account. After that, it should easily go start up just like this. And it's a chance it will ask you for your own Apple ID. But if you don't want this, like I said, disable your network adapter. So it might take a very long while. After restarting, you will get this and then it should almost be done to log in and everything. 
So right now we can select our region. I'm just gonna select Netherlands because I'm Dutch myself. Very easily. Continue, continue. I just keep on clicking. I don't have a Mac, so don't transfer information now. And then it says sign in with Apple ID, which I said you can skip. But we can also click on setup later. So let's just do that. Skip and then the terms and conditions. Let's click on agree just like that. We can select a name. We can do macOS. Then of course, make sure you have a password you can remember. We can do macOS as password. Why not keep it simple? Let's continue. Oh, the hint can't contain the password. We can always trick it, right? Yes, we can always trick it. There you go, continue very easily. Let's keep continuing, share data. Let's continue. Well, I'm not gonna enable Siri, let's continue. Like there are many features here. This is of course Catalina, macOS, so that's pretty cool. Let's keep it on light, continue. And then it's gonna set up the Mac very easily. Just like that, you have created a Mac OS virtual machine just for yourself to try out Mac OS. So right here, it's gonna get some updates. You have to install these of course. And while doing that, we can actually just use Safari right now, which is pretty cool because I don't own a Mac uh, device. So right here, I'm just going to search for google.com. Of course, it says it all in Dutch, but the region in Dutch, by the way. So right here, you can just browse the web. Everything that you can normally do on a Mac OS, you can easily do on this system. And it isn't even that slow. It only has two cores. Remember this. And you can also give it more course which means it will work a lot better and to thank you so much for watching this full video and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can make more cool videos like this uh by the way i hope this video is about 50 minutes it took me about one hour 15 minutes to pretty much set this all up it took a long while installing the os and everything uh, but for first all the steps uh went right only a few things like errors and i also showed you how to fix that just comment down below if you have any questions and I'm very happy to help all of you and yeah, happy community, right? We're helping each other and that's what we should do. I'll see you in the next one and thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.